Hi there, welcome again to my channel. Today, our topic is about English 10 Quarter 1 Moodle Lesson 4, entitled Integrating Cohesion, Fluency, Tone, and Correctness in a Spoken Text. And uh, after going through this lesson, you are expected to do the following. Assess spoken text based on cohesion, fluency, tone, and correctness, and also appreciate the importance of correctness in spoken text. But before we proceed, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Alright, let us proceed. Sa inyong module, and in activity 4.1, this is the direction. List down the types of tone in writing. Number one is joyful. Number two, serious. Number three, humorous. Number four, sad. Number five, formal. Number six, informal. Number seven, optimistic. Number eight, pessimistic. Number eight, nine, horror. All right, these are the feelings or attitudes that a writer should convey to the readers or viewers. Ito yung mga feeling ng, o attitude ng writer na dapat ibahagi o iparating sa mga nanonood o bumabasa. This is under tone. Alright. Spoken texts include oral stories, interviews, dialogues. By the way, when we say oral stories, ito yung mga kwento na inilipat ng mga lola, lulot lola sa kanilang mga anak o apo, and then inilipat na naman ulit sa kanilang mga kaibigan. That is called oral stories. Sa interview naman, yan yung mga interview pagka ikaw ay may papasok ng trabaho. Dialogues, usapan ng dalawang tao. Sa monologues naman, ito yung ang isang tao ay nagsasalita ng walang kausap. Siya lang mag-isang nagsasalita. And then, phone conversations. Of course, yan yung pag-uusap sa telepono. And then, discussions. Ito yung mga deliberations pag may mga usapan sa mga caucus or meeting. And then, role plays. Or any other spoken language. Next, when people speak to each other, interactions are made up of stories of utterances like questions and answers, comments and suggestions, requests and responses. Now, the correctness of a spoken text can be assessed in terms of the following areas. Yung pagiging tama ng spoken text ay dito natin ma-assess. Number one, about clarity. The clarity of a spoken text refers to its quality of being easily understood. May clarity sa isang text kapag madaling maintindihan ito ng bumabasa. Number two, articulateness. It is the ability to express thoughts and feelings easily and clearly. We can say that a text possesses this quality if it expresses an idea in a clear and effective manner. Number three, spelling. This is a set of conventions that regulate the way of using graphemes, that is, the smallest functional unit of a writing system, to represent a language in its written form. Okay. Next, number four, language appropriateness. This quality is evident in a spoken text if it uses a language that is fitting or suitable to the situation or purpose. Say, for example, ang text ay about uh, children. So, the language should suit the taste of children. Hindi dito pwede yung mga language na pang matanda. And also, 
if the uh, scenario is about old fox, the language should suit also the uh, taste of old fox. Hindi rito pwede yung mga language na pang bata. Next is grammar. This refers to the set of rules that explains how words are used in a language. Next is activity 4.3. In your module, here is the direction. Answer the following questions to show your learning from our lesson. Number one question, why should we observe correctness in writing spoken text? Alright, sa new module, walang answer dito sa keto correction. So I'd like you to just pause the video for a while and then copy the answer. Alright, here is the possible answer. We observe correctness in writing spoken text so that listeners will easily understand what we are saying. Number two question, how can we achieve cohesion, fluency, tone, and correctness in writing spoken text? Okay. All right, here is a possible answer. We can achieve cohesion by using appropriate conjunctions in connecting ideas. When we say conjunctions, these are the words used in connecting words, phrases, clauses, sentences, or ideas, even from one paragraph to another paragraph. And usually, these are, these are the conjunctions used. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. These are called fanboys. Ito yung acronym, fanboys. A for for, A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for yet, and S for so. Fanboys. Now, another answer. Fluency can be achieved by means of writing with a natural flow and rhythm. The writer's feeling or attitude should be expressed in the text. And what are these feeling and attitude? Ito yung naramdaman. Oh, feeling ng writer. Say for example, joyful, serious, humorous, sad, formal, informal, optimistic, pessimistic, Horror. All right. Next. Correctness of spoken text can be achieved by using clarity, articulateness, correct spelling, using appropriate language, and correct grammar. Now, I, hope you, I hope you have learned something in this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.